So today marks Israel Independence Day. Millions of citizens across Israel commemorating the day. The Jewish state declared its independence from British occupancy, Israel marking 76 years since the country's founding. Celebrations normally involve fireworks and the traditional torch lighting ceremony at the Jerusalem National Cemetery. But this year, Israelis are grappling with the war against Hamas. Independence Day celebrations toned down, with many of the typical traditions being canceled. Horton Klein joining us. He is national president of Zionist Organization of America. And Christian Whiten is a former senior advisor in the Trump and Bush administrations. Gentlemen, thank you. Morton, can we start with you? How is this specific war now affecting celebrations for Israelis and the Jewish state today? Well, the theme, as opposed to simply celebrating uh, that Israel, the reestablishment of Israel is now uh, 76 years old, the theme is that ha that Israel has an obligation to destroy the Hamas Nazis. These Hamas Nazis are not only after the Jews. Mohammed al Zahar, a founder of, of uh, Hamas, publicly said, first we're going to kill all the Jews. Then we're going after the, the despicable Christians. And even Al Zahar University, the main seminary for the Muslims in Cairo, came out with an edict, a fatwa, saying it is an obligation of Muslims to murder Jews. This is a religious seminary. So at this rally, we are promoting the obligation of Israel uh, to destroy the Hamas Nazis, uh, who are a danger both to Israel and America, Jews as well as Christians. And I'm so sorry that, that Joe Biden and Blinken are stopping this effort. They're demanding Israel leave Gaza completely, not only Rafah, but leave Gaza completely. And they're really allowing Hamas to survive. And this is after Biden, for the last three years, has helped fund Hamas and Hezbollah. How? He's given Iran $26 billion. And he's also ignored sanctions, which allowed Iran to earn another $100 billion. They take that money and fund Hamas and Hezbollah. So this administration has indirectly been uh, funding this terrorism. And those are the types of themes we had at this rally, as opposed to normally just the positive themes. Again, uh, Morton Klein joining us with his analysis of this Independence Day. And it's different, of course, because it follows the October 7th attacks. Christian, I wanted to ask you about some new data points coming in from the United Nations, updating the death toll in the Israel-Hamas war. And basically, they're adjusting the, the number points uh, of the women and children who had been killed, uh, decreasing that amount by 50 percent. We got a response from a U.N. spokesperson. The overall number of fatalities was tallied by the Ministry of Health in Gaza, which is our counterpart on dealing with the death tolls. That number remains unchanged. It's more than 35,000 people since October. What's changed is the Ministry of Health in Gaza has updated the breakdown of fatalities for whom full details have been documented. Again, the initial reports were that more women and more children had died. It looks like the number has been adjusted now. What, what does that tell you, though, about uh, the accuracy of the reporting from the Gaza Ministry of Health? Well, it sounds like the U.N. might be finally acknowledging, but not really acknowledging that they were lied to. The Ministry of Health in Gaza is Hamas. Every sort of political organization in Gaza, except for the Israeli military, is Hamas. And these are lies. And these are lies that were repeated, not just by the activists and the nutjobs on campuses living in tents. That big number was repeated by President Biden, by Time magazine, by NPR, increasingly known as Nicaraguan Public Radio, um, by all these organizations authoritatively. And it's just, it's just propaganda that came from the enemy, frankly. And we've been passing it as off as accurate. It, it, and, and why is that a big deal? It's not just a big deal that this needed to be corrected and that the entire world, it's in Wikipedia too, incidentally stated factually, as if 35,000 women and children were killed by the Israeli military. Um, you know, this is, it, it, is in, it is part of this problem of people not understanding Hamas's position among these people and within this territory and the enormity of the attacks that Israel faces and faces alone, because the Biden administration isn't helping with this, of eradicating Hamas, this jihadist, uh, terrorist, tyrannical organization that, uh, that attacks Israel from time to time.